What if you could travel through our galactic neighborhood? What would it be like? And what dangers surround these distant planets? In this video, we will take you to all the planets in our solar system. From Mercury's scorching heat to Neptune's icy cold, the solar system amazes with contrasts. Imagine Mars's huge Olympus Mons, Saturn's wide rings, and Jupiter's fierce storms. Each planet offers a unique and dramatic story, showcasing extremes far beyond Earth's experiences. Starting with Mercury, which has extreme temperature swings. The closest smallest planet to our Sun, a realm of temperature extremes, offering a fresh start. Here, daytime can see temperatures skyrocket to a scorching 800 degrees Fahrenheit, while nights can be chillingly cold, plummeting to negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit all under the relentless glare of a scorching sun. Mercury's atmosphere is almost non-existent, allowing the harshness of space, cosmic rays, and solar winds to sweep across its barren landscape unfiltered. In a humorous fantasy scenario where you go to Mercury, you might need a few chuckles to survive the extreme conditions. Here is a lighthearted take on it. Upon landing on Mercury, you immediately realize that sunscreen is a must-have, slather on SPF 10,000 and still end up with a slight sunburn. To pass the time during the 88-day long Mercurian day, you bring along a stack of your favorite books, but within minutes, you discover that the pages are curling from the heat and the beach reads turns into sun-baked book sandwiches. When it's time for a snack, you open a bag of chips and the entire bag instantly crisps up. Then you decide to embrace the situation and declare Mercury the ultimate snack food dehydrator. Finally, you might also encounter a Mercurian alien who, instead of greeting you with take me to your leader, asks, got any ice cream? It's scorching out here. Of course, this is just a playful and imaginative take on the incredible inhospitable conditions on Mercury. In reality, a human visit to the planet would be a considerable engineering challenge. Venus, the planet where a day outlasts its year, a step into this planet feels like entering an oven. The atmosphere here is oppressive, pressing down with a force 92 times greater than what we experience on Earth, and temperatures can soar up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Venus is shrouded in thick, toxic clouds of sulfuric acid that trap heat, creating a furnace-like world below. These harsh conditions render survival a far-fetched dream, marking Venus as a deadly yet captivating planet. Now let's wear out our fantasy hat and take that spaceship ride to Venus. Upon landing, you will be donning a spacesuit designed for the scorching temperatures and acidic clouds. You will quickly realize that you've arrived at the hottest beach destination in the solar system. For a Venusian picnic, you try to open a bag of marshmallows, and within seconds, you can roast them without a campfire, thanks to the blistering heat. Attempting to take a selfie, you discover that your camera lens melts faster than an ice cream cone on a summer day. So you decide that selfie on Venus will remain an inside joke. Whenever you spot a Venusian creature, in the fantasy of course, you expect it to say, hi, what's up? But it exclaims, is it hot in here or is it just me? While fanning itself with a tiny umbrella, your visit to Venus will turn into an ultimate sauna experience and you jokingly consider starting a Venus spa for anyone in need of real heat treatment. Mars, the captivating red planet? The fourth planet from the Sun is quite smaller than Earth, with a diameter of about 4,212 miles, roughly half the size of our planet. Although it's closer to the Sun compared to Earth, it's much colder. The temperature at Mars's poles can drop incredibly low, going down to around negative 220 degrees Fahrenheit. A day on Mars is similar to Earth, lasting about 24.6 hours, but it takes much longer to orbit the Sun, around 687 Earth days. Get ready for our fantasy Martian adventure! On arriving at Mars, you soon realize that the Martian landscape is like a giant Martian potato field. Attempting to play a game of Martian golf, you perceive that the gravity there makes the golf balls travel for miles leading to the creation of the Mars Open Championship. When you encounter a group of Martian aliens, you expect profound interstellar conversations. But aliens are more interested in Earth's most addictive snack, popcorn. Furthermore, they introduce you to the art of Martian popcorn popping, 
which involves Martian superheat and a lot of giggles. Setting up a tent becomes an interplanetary wrestling match with Mars's quirky tent-hating wind patterns. You end up inventing the Mars tent dance, which may become the next viral sensation on Earth. Jupiter, the gas giant. This is the biggest planet in our solar system. It's so large that it's more than two and a half times heavier than all of the other planets combined. Jupiter's atmosphere is thick and made mostly of hydrogen and helium gases. It has a famous feature called the Great Red Spot, which is a huge storm that has been going on for centuries. Unlike Earth, Jupiter doesn't have a solid surface. Now, time for our whimsical fantasy travel to Jupiter. You would realize upon landing that it's the ultimate bouncy ball planet. Every step you take sends you bouncing and floating through the dense atmosphere. You decide to have a picnic, but with Jupiter's fierce winds, your picnic basket turns into a flying carpet, and you find yourself airborne on an unexpected magic carpet ride. When you encounter the jovial Jupiterian beings, they won't communicate with words, but instead exchange cheerful, harmonious music using their brightly colored trumpet-like noses. Spotting a storm, you expect it to be a terrifying tempest, but it turns out to be the planet's storm dance party, where lightning and thunder are part of the entertainment. Saturn, the ringed gas giant. Now, let's not overlook Saturn, the second largest planet, famous for its beautiful rings. These rings are the largest in our solar system and are made of lots of tiny particles, mostly of water ice, creating an amazing view. Saturn takes about 29 years to orbit the Sun and is at a distance ranging between 520.6 and 580.5 million miles from the Sun. Now, our fantasy ride, if a human goes to this planet. Upon landing, you will be greeted by its friendly ringed residents, who use hula hoops as their primary mode of transportation. For a meal, you discover that Saturn's signature dish is Saturnian ring pasta, where the rings themselves are served as spaghetti. Imagine the helmet you will be wearing, equipped with a visor, becomes the perfect accessory for enjoying Saturn's dazzling and ever-changing fashion show, put on by the ring particles. You further decide to go ring surfing on Saturn's stunning rings, only to discover that it's like riding the wildest roller coaster in the galaxy, complete with loop-de-loops around ice chunks. Uranus, a light blue gas-filled planet. It's mostly made of water, ammonia, and a gas called methane. What makes Uranus really different from the other planets in our solar system is its very unusual tilt. This tilt means that Uranus has really long seasons, each lasting about 20 years. Imagine having winter or summer for that long. Let's take off our interesting fantasy ride to Uranus. When you land on this planet, you will realize that it's the ultimate cosmic slip and slide. The icy surface makes for some hilarious moments as they slide around uncontrollably. You discover that Uranus is inhabited by friendly helium-breathing aliens who communicate in squeaky voices that sound like they've been inhaling too much helium at a birthday party. Uranus's extreme tilt results in peculiar days and nights, leaving you feel like you are stuck in a never-ending game of cosmic hide-and-seek with the sun. Neptune, Deep Blue Mysteries Neptune, another big gas planet, but this one has a deep blue color. It's much farther from the Sun than Uranus. Neptune is quite big, with a radius of about 15,387 miles and a diameter around 30,598 miles. What's really amazing about Neptune is its super fast winds. They can blow over 1,324 miles per hour, which is five times faster than the strongest winds ever recorded on Earth. Neptune's blue color is partly because of the methane gas in its atmosphere, but there's also something else which makes it even bluer, and scientists are still trying to figure out what that is. Gear up for our fantasy ride to Neptune now! Upon reaching, you will discover that this planet is a haven for underwater space unicorns that glide gracefully through the gaseous atmosphere. Further, you will find that Neptune's blue lemonade is the local specialty drink, and it's said to be the tastiest drink in our galaxy. In reality, Neptune is a frigid and distant gas giant, and human visits are purely science fiction at this point. On our space trip, we went from Mercury's super hot days and super cold nights to Neptune's really cold, windy place. If you had the chance, which planet would you choose to visit first and why? Share your cosmic travel choice in the comments. Thanks for watching.